Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Barely Boulders. Yeah, we're really gonna have to change that. Maybe it's now like sometimes boulders, but whatever. Today, we're gonna talk about how I made my climbing volume, and it's actually titled How Not to Make a Climbing Volume because this process was uh, extremely unnecessary. I had this idea that I'd make some unique volume for this one hold that I had, and um, yeah, but I made it and it works great, but it definitely didn't need to be this complicated. Anyway, let's get into it. So again, if you guys remember, I bought a mystery pack of climbing holds from Everlast Climbing, and they gave me a black sort of like mound hold that I couldn't really do anything with on my 30 degree wall. So I thought, I'll just make a volume and put this on it and it'll be a really nice sloper. So that's what I did. I made a volume that was the exact size of this hold so I could put it on with no problems. Of course, that just meant each side was a little different, the angles were a little off, and I don't know. I did it anyway, but let's break it down. And I forgot right before we start, please hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. It's really fun to see more people subscribing, and that's it. Let's get back to the video. So I started on the computer at a rough estimate of the size of the hold, and then I just sort of made random triangle shapes and put them together, and I was able to get dimensions and angles from this and I brought it to the piece of plywood. So again, we're using three quarter uh, thick plywood. And because I had this computer program, I was able to get the dimensions and the angles. So I just traced everything out with the exact angles and I cut it out using a, a circular saw. So again, this is the reason I'm saying this is not the way you wanna make a climbing volume because every side was different and every angle was different. I made another one where I just followed some easy steps making the same three triangles and put it together and that was really fast, um, but here's this one anyway. So after I cut out the triangles, I had to make these precise angle cuts using a table saw because these pieces were not going to fit together at 90 degree angles. They were like 60 and 30 and this is really just why you shouldn't do it this way. But I had my table saw, I adjusted every cut for every angle. I also had to add pieces of wood so that the triangles would lay flat against the table saw and against the, the guard, but whatever. So after I cut all those angles, and that's a different angle on every side for the, each triangle, so that's nine different angled cuts. It's really unnecessary, don't do it this way, but we're moving on anyway. So now I have three different triangles with all different angles and I know I have to put them together, so I just sort of started lining them up. and. Actually, the sides did re meet pretty well, so I guess I did something right, and then I had to figure out how to connect them together. I saw other videos online where they put supports on each corner, so basically cutting these uh, short pieces of wood so you can have something to glue and to screw into, so that's what I did there. I also had to adjust the angles a little. And then after that, it was a combination of glue, screws, and nails into the... Um, into the side of the volume. So obviously I glued all the edges, I set some big screws into the triangles that also fastened into those wooden supports, and then my dad helped me with a nail gun to just nail it together um, because, you know, it would be more secure that way. Thank you. 
pretty rough. It has those three supports in the middle. It's held together by glue and screws and um, the nails from the nail gun. And then this is the really tedious part, but you just have to sort of sand it down and make it smooth, make it look nice. So before I started sanding, I also filled in the cracks with some wood putty. I filled in the cracks. I made sure the, the plywood was nice and smooth. And I also filled in those edges. I sanded them down. I think you should start with a hand sander so you can be a little more precise and make sure that you you know exactly what areas need to be sanded more. And then I just took uh, the normal belt sander and rotating sander and I just made it as smooth as possible. So after that whole process, uh, the volume's more or less complete. Oh, I forgot. Let's rewind really quickly. You want to put in T-nuts into a volume. If you have a big volume, T-nuts are great because you can attach holds to them. I just had a bunch of T-nuts. You know, I put them in sort of centered. Some have two, some have three. And now I can attach different holds to this, get some nice underclings, Gastons, and all that good stuff. So yeah, put your T-nuts in before you actually make the triangle. It just makes hammering and gluing them in much easier. Anyway, where were, where were we? Where were we? Back to the volume. So it is now glued, it's put together, it's sanded. And the last thing you wanna do, um, which is sort of optional, but it's nice, is to paint and add texture to it. I just had a mixture of sand and paint and this might be the stupidest idea I had, but I thought sawdust would make it even more textury. And I had a lot of sawdust lying around but that was a bad idea. Don't do that. This is again why you make this is not how you make a climbing volume. The sawdust just made it really mushy and the consistency was like sort of gross and thick. Anyway, just use sand and paint and it's great. So I just painted this on to certain areas and I also taped off some er other areas because it would be cool to have like a dual textured volume and those other areas I decided to paint red and you can see right here, I had some leftover spray paint. I just colored the edges of the volume red, so it's actually sort of smooth, and it really makes a difference when you grab it, obviously. That turned out really nice. It's sort of a nice accent on the wall, like a bright red color, and um, the texture actually works great. You know, if you're really stepping on it with like your shoe, it can sort of rub, rub off, or maybe you get some black smears, but you know, that's gonna happen regardless. And um, yeah, so this is the volume. Uh, I put that on there. It's really great. It's a really great feature on a wall. It really changes up the, you know, the types of climbs you can set and how you train. And um, yeah, I think that's it. Here's some random clips of uh, me and my friends climbing on it. And again, this is how you should not make a climbing volume. And uh, why that is, it's because I basically made a random triangle each side is a different size, every side has different angle connections, and that's just not necessary. It looks cool though. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, give it a comment on what you think of the volume, and please subscribe if you haven't already. It's really fun to see more people subscribing because these videos are really fun. So I'll see you guys next time. Here it is. Oh, that's it.